Hi, I am Gopi from TechPost. Welcome to my today's video about uh, creating contact form or survey forms using Google Documents and uh, uh, how to use these uh, these survey forms and contact forms in your website and uh, or other other places wherever you want and uh, how to grab users opinions and uh, user experience about your site so for that first we need to create one form for that first go to open your google drive and then click on create and create form so here you will find the so many templates you you can choose uh, whatever style you want and i'm going here with the uh, default template so first give your form title user experience poll about my website and my first question is how is my how is this website experience so this is a help text that means uh, some description about your question if you want i mean if you want to write some text you can write otherwise just leave it blank and uh, this is multiple here one more thing we need to know is uh, question type here so many question types is a multiple choice check boxes scale grid pa paragraph text and whatever you want you just uh, select that one um, i just want to give a multiple choice for this question so first of all excellent and next one very good good bad so once after completing your uh, all multiple choices click done so your, your first question created and then if you want to add some other questions or some other options uh, click on add item here you will find a text or paragraph or multiple choice checkboxes whatever so n now i want to give a checkbox so this question also created and also one, one uh, next one i want to give one uh, paragraph text uh, for suggestions okay. comments and i, wa I want to give this uh, paragraph text so click done so here my form was ready my form is ready so, so next you have one more option called confirmation message once after submitting form on confirmation screen whatever message that you want to appear on a confirmation screen you can customize this as per your choice and there after the below that two three options is there first one is if you want to give a, a choice for a single user to submit your form multiple times and second one is if you want to show the result of the survey to your users you can check check this uh, option and the third one um, if once after submitting a form if you want uh, that user to edit their responses uh, from for next time you can click this one and uh, click send form so here we 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 came to final screen here you will find so many share options like a link uh, embed code and uh, for social links and whatever and now i am going to use this form in my website so for that click on embed code uh, option and uh, copy uh, copy this html code and uh, use this uh, html code in your uh, website uh, page or in your contact page or just copy paste uh, this uh, code into your uh, 
website and then go back to your uh, form creation and click on done I copy paste this website here and uh, updated this page and now we will see this we will see this page so here we go here you can find this uh, survey survey poll so now I am going to submit this form so first question very bad no because uh, my own website right so that's why I'm giving comments submit form so uh, this is a confirmation message and uh, go back to your forms and uh, click on responses and click on summary of responses here you can analyze your total entire forms form form data analysis uh, that means uh, out of for your first question on pie chart I mean how many how many person how many users uh, choose uh, excellent how many users uh, very good how many so and uh, next question yes or no and uh, other uh, some other comments so in this way you can uh, uh, analyze the responses so here one more thing we need to do is choose responses location for that and that means uh, um, where you want to store the responses for your uh, form so for that click on choose response destination and uh, here you will find uh, two options new spreadsheet and uh, existing spreadsheet uh, if you want to store the f that form data in new spreadsheet uh, use the uh, you can uh, select this or uh, you can use this one and uh, choose sorry cancel new spreadsheet poll poll responses and click on create once after after successfully creating your that spreadsheet you will find uh, here view response option click on that see here you can find your total entire uh, form data your survey data that means uh, for each and every user at on what date that user submitted that information and uh, what time and uh, for each and every question every box uh, every total information you can store here so in this way you can conduct uh, surveys or you can uh, uh, conduct polls and also you can create a custom contact forms on your uh, using your google spread uh, google documents and you can use uh, this uh, same in your uh, website or wherever you want this will ha and uh, la la last time uh, last time when i when i yeah, as i said uh, using this summary of your form you can uh, able to take a uh, good decisions about your website uh, to increase your website experience or to increase uh, your uh, content type of experience and uh, one more is this is free of cost suppose if you want to oh, if you want to use a survey of outside uh, survey agency firm or whatever they will definitely charge some uh, some most amount uh, some amount uh, this one you, you can uh, use for free of cost and you will get uh, valuable information which will helpful in taking good decisions good and right decisions thank you thanks for watching this video we will see you in another video with another topic uh, if you want